Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, I've always been wanting to do this whole YouTube thing, but like it's been forever and a day coming. <laughs> and um, I finally decided to just get up and do it and see where it goes. Um, I've had so many people from everywhere reach out to me and ask me in the DMs and like emails like how did you get into modeling, how are you doing what you're doing, how can I get there, what do I need to do in order to get there and so I just wanted to finally use this platform as a tool to help you guys and um, feel free to like tweet me at mameaj4 and obviously on Instagram, same handle, at mameaj4, and I'm sure we'll put it right here. And obviously write down in the comments what you'd like to know, what you want to hear from me, what topics you want me to talk about and um, really dive into to help you guys in the modeling game or entertainment, whether you want to be an actress, dancer, singer, we all kind of have to go through the same processes in LA or in the industry in general in order to get ahead. So I'm going to start with agencies. A lot of people want to know how do you get to sign with an agency and how can you appeal to an agency. And that's one thing that's really tough for a lot of people, whether you're a dancer, singer, actor, or whatever in entertainment and arts. And um, I really feel like you have to just be yourself, to be perfectly honest. If you're not going to be yourself, and if you're going to try and be like that girl over there, they already have that girl. They don't want another one of that girl. And I think these days in the climate that we're in, like we need a lot more people being themselves. I think it's it's so like hot right now. Your differences, your, your, your whatever makes you unique, it's what's popping. So elevate that, showcase that, and be you. And there's, I mean, you can't go wrong because if you're making, you know, thinking you have to do this or wear some or certain clothes or act a certain way, which I know all too many of girls always trying to do the most to fit in or to be a certain type of girl. Girl, it's an act and you're gonna break down. Even Halle Berry can't keep up an act for how many years, like you gotta give it up at some point. But anyway, be yourself. I would say that on that note, take photos that are agency proper. You need to be in a tank top or like a white beater, something simple that shows your body. Skinny jeans, high or low waist, and like a heel. You want to find a blank background, preferably white walls, or you know brick, whatever you have that's just you know blank. Get in front of it, have your friend you know, take a full length picture, a three quarter picture, and a close up. And I'm doing this because you want it to be pretty much like this. And um, you want to show your profiles. And you want to show, obviously the close up will be face on, showing your face. They like minimal to no makeup. So the most you want to do is, you know, flick your brows, get a little mascara on, you might want to put your little bronzer, show a little but don't do the most because they don't want to see your face made up. And don't ever do that Instagram highlight, contour, everything on fleek. It ain't gonna work, like, it's too much. Keep it simple if you're trying to get agency approved type photos to get in the door. So get your shots in. Those are shots that they usually put on comp cards. So you just want to show them that, you know, who you are, your height. You want to measure yourself second. Measure yourself. Um, your bust, your waist, your hips, and then how tall you are. You know, people be adding a little, uh, you know, inch or two, but keep, be honest, you know, be honest. I feel like these days, whether you're 5'7 or 5'11, um, as long as you have the face, the personality, the, the oomph, you can make it through the door. I know a couple of short models that are like 5'5", five, 5'7", five, five, maybe not 5'7", five, 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 that are killing it, you know what I mean? So don't be, you don't gotta lie. Some agencies obviously care about weight. You know, work out, be fit, and, and that's just for you. Don't, don't be trying to lose weight because you're trying to get in the door somewhere. 
lose weight or be fit because that's just what you're supposed to do to be alive and to be and to thrive, you know. Um, so just be mindful of what you're intaking. Make sure you're on a good diet. You're drinking a lot of water and taking care of your skin because you want your skin to be flawless and you want it to be glowing so that they can be like, damn, I want her to be the face of Maybelline or CoverGirl or Rimmel or Urban Decay or Smashbox or a bunch of other ones. Take care of your skin, take care of your body, get those shots in and start testing with photographers. Genuinely get to know them, befriend them, Hopefully they can even test you for free, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's a tit for tat, because they might just want to also try some creative things. So just hit up different people that you know are good with the camera that can test you in different settings. You can do lifestyle shots down, you know, in the city somewhere, walking the street, cool. Um, you can go to the studio and do some really cool, like, simple, just get your jeans and a tank top, again, the simpler, the better. You don't need a whole team. You don't need a makeup artist, stylist, all that. If you have access to those things and um, you know you can do it, cool. The more the merrier, but it's not necessary. And honestly, I, I like it when it's just me and the photographer because I, I learned to do my own makeup. I learned my tones, I learned my undertone. Like, can't nobody touch this face the way that I touch it, okay? But anyway, I like to just do my own thing anyway, but I think, first of all, if you're a model of color, but we're gonna get into that later, um, know your face, know your makeup, know how to do everything, because not everybody knows how to do all of it. So yeah, just get you a, a nice photographer friend, someone that's just down the ride to help, and start your book that way, you know? And then you can move on where you can even reach out. You know, Instagram, use Instagram as a tool. Don't just use it to troll on people. Use it as a tool, reach out to people, photographers, videographers, stylists, makeup artists, whoever you want to work with, you never know. They might be like, hey, sure, you know? And um, if you have to pay, sure, do that too. But I know for sure that you will always find people that are just down to work just to have something creative in their book. So it's not impossible. You don't need to have any money to start. And if you get with any like model scouts or any like crazy agencies that are asking you to pay anything, don't do it. No modeling agency, anyone really is asking for money up front. They make their money off of you working. They shouldn't be asking you for money. So watch out girls, like be super safe about that because I've heard horror stories of girls getting just scammed out of money for, you know, and they want to chase their dreams. So of course you're gonna, you know, whatever you can do but please be careful careful um, young girls be careful always go with someone that you feel protected by um, I'm grown and I still feel better when I have a friend with me at, to go to some of the photographers in the studio sometimes so just be careful of who you're meeting and where you're meeting because there's too many predators out there and we want you to be safe I want to talk about black models in the industry. It's on the tip of our tongues right now and it's a topic that we definitely need to talk about. I have had way too many jobs where the stylist might not know how to do black hair. She might not know how to do black makeup uh, for black girls. And I find that problematic. It's 2018, y'all. I'm gonna need you to know how to do my face right now. So shout out to all the makeup brands that are out there representing for the women of color. We appreciate y'all. Fenty Beauty, yes. Makeup Forever, yes. Who else? I don't know. But y'all keep doing your thing. We appreciate it because I'm tired of makeup artists still trying to put makeup on me that is three shades darker, two shades too light, two, three shades three, too dark, and two shades too blue. Like, no, I'm not blue, I'm not red, I'm not. <sighs> stop, stop. It's, stop. Stop, okay. Black women, now we're gonna go into that. Black women, black models, um, actresses, whatever. Know your face. Find your shade. Go to Sephora or Mac or wherever you're, you know, you, you like. And first of all, have your own 
set of makeup that you take to set, okay? Don't ever rely on them having your shade or what's it called, because I am forever and always disappointed with my face. And then I'm in the bathroom doing all this, and then they get mad. How are you gonna get mad, sis? How? How are you gonna get mad? Because I need to look good so that there's not this big elephant in the room and I'm shooting and I'm about to cry. No, we're not gonna do that anymore. Stop. Let me do my face. So anyway, have your own shit, ladies. And then when it comes to hair, I wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Galaxy 5000 Extensions. My girl has been hooking me up since I moved to LA. So it's been like a year and a half, two years now, where she has supplied me with the best wigs to take to shoots. I wear her extensions for everything. Um, for my editorials, for, for everything, for everything. And it served me well because I can take care of my natural hair under this wig and make sure that it's protected from these crazy stylists that don't know how to do black hair that be trying to go ahead and put a whole curling iron in your hair without a wash, condition, and a blowout. Just trying to just go in there like, what is you doing, sis? What is you doing? I take care of my natural hair underneath the wigs and Galaxy 5000 extensions Y'all need to try them out, have been amazing about um, keeping me just, just so versatile. And I think, honestly, it's cool. Like a lot of times models, they want you to stay with one look, but I think it's dope when you can do a range of looks and clients like you better, or at least in my case they have, I don't know about everyone else, uh, because I can switch it up where I have the short bob or I have the long hair or I have, you know, the fringe and so i just want to show you guys this is my um my log it's more of a shot short i'm gonna i'm gonna throw it on so you can see just so you can see if you should follow me on instagram then you've probably already seen it yeah girls get you some wigs not only to stay versatile but if you don't want to be working with your natural hair this is a great alternative and I don't need to perm my hair to be more versatile or feel like what's called by me. If that's you, go ahead. But yeah, I feel like for me, this has been a really like a saving grace when I don't wear my hair out to just throw this on and be able to go at a cast, go to a casting, go to an audition, whatever, and look okay. at and you know, give them a different look because if they want that stuff, you know, cute young girl, I can throw this on. If y'all want a sexier looking. Throw this one on. And if you want something cool, I can throw my bangs on you. Who you want me to be? I can be it. Mm. You know when your boyfriend be like, they want to see other people? Yeah. Who you want to see today? Who you want to see? So, this is my short look. I like it. Don't scream at me. I didn't really like. I'm not a YouTuber like beauty lady right now about to take my time and like curl it and all that. Like I just want y'all to see what it looks like. Whatever look the client wants, I can I can get. And um, I just love this hair. Galaxy 5000 extensions, I cannot stress enough. It is so like strong. The strands are strong. Um, I've had this one for like six months maybe and I've had my other one for like almost two years like a year and a half and it's still going strong you just have to take care of your hair obviously but this brand like is super amazing every single stylist that I've worked with have asked me where I get my hair and um, yeah they like have been buying it now for their other celebrity clients <laughs> And um, I mean, it's amazing. So you gotta try it out for yourself. Like I can't stress enough. This is the only type of extension or wigs that I use is from Galaxy 5000 extension. And I don't like, you don't see me promoting all these types of different brands. And that's because like, I actually will promote what I use. And this is something I use and love. Right, so I'm gonna go show you the other wig. And be right back. So. Here's my bang look. Girls, get you your wig, get you a couple so that you can switch it up and um, be whoever they need you to be for that job. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna put the link of Galaxy 5000 hair so that you guys, so that you guys can look at it and, uh, cause I don't even know which 
wave, Makati wave. I think she has some other names for it, but I don't even know. Like, that's how much I don't be worrying about my hair when I have this, you feel me? Like, I just throw it on and I be out. So I'm gonna put the details in the description. You guys can let me know whatever else you need. I know it's getting a little dark, so hopefully the lighting is still okay. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Let me know what you guys wanna hear. I definitely wanna touch more on why representation matters in the modeling industry and why being black is, you know, it is a little harder, it's getting better, but we have a long way to go. So I already touched on the makeup aspect and I touched on the hair, so we will get into why it matters in my next video. Thank you guys for watching, make sure you subscribe and leave me comments.